Hi everyone, it's a new video for you today and this one is a haul video. So I've not done one of these in a little while and I went a little bit crazy. My blame is that I got paid and it was full of snow outside and I just didn't have anything else better to do than shop online. <laughs> I did have to wait a little while for a few of these bits because obviously um, the snow kind of back up all the packages if you've seen my instagram post i popped up today when all of them turned up at once it was a fun fun hour for me unboxing everything and opening everything so i really want to start using all this stuff so i thought i'd show you what i got so i have a range of shops here um i'm not going to go through them all now but i will tell you where everything is from and i'll try and link everything i show below if i can find it online still so the first place I don't know where to start the first place i'm going to start from is amazon so these two products i actually tried out when one of my planner friends rosanna popped around with some craft stuff and fell in love with these two bits and she lovingly let me use her amazon prime account to get these to come a little bit earlier than they would have done before so the first thing are these these are some paints so these are they look like just one of those normal kind of paints that you get from the pound shop or something but these are actually like a metallic kind of paint they are really really nice they've got a very creamy texture you only need a tiny bit of water i don't know if you can kind of tell but they do have a shimmer to them and then once like this one here and this one here and this one here you basically layer them on top of another paint so i was using them on top of watercolors and it just adds a really beautiful shimmer to the paint so i'm really hoping that's picking up on camera but they are really really shimmery so i will be using these in some scrapbook videos so keep an eye for those Next thing was an ink pad. This is the Ranger Arcaville Arc Arc ink. Um, this is basically just the black one. I was using my Hobbycraft black one for about a year and um, I really got into stamping recently. And um, so I was using the Hobbycraft one, which is working fine. But then I used what this one, which is the one that Rosanna's got. and the image came out so much clearer and a lot more sharper with this ink so i can't wait to start using this so i picked that one up as well then on to halo to magpie so halo to magpie have released so many new ranges since the last time i was on there i wanted so so much but a lot of it was out of stock or i kind of wanted to get some different things from different shops so i didn't really buy a lot i think it's the smallest halos for magpie order i've ever done um but i only picked up a few things so the first thing i picked up was this these are the kelly creates i think it's like a brushlet in range it's i think it's from american crafts and basically these are the stamps that you it says to stamp them put some tracing paper over the top and then trace them to um practice brush lettering which is something that i've really been trying to practice that i've really been trying to practice um over the last kind of couple of months so when they come they come like this obviously on the clear backing and these are the days of the month so you have january or just jan and then they also go all the way through to the like the full month and then just like the abbreviated little ones but i thought these would be really good for bullet journaling i will be using these to practice my brush lettering but i'm going to use them in my bullet journal just to uh, stamp out the months as well because my handwriting is not the best at the moment so whilst i'm still practicing i'm going to be using these to stamp out the months in my bullet journal following on the same theme again these are from the kelly creates brush lettering range and these are the days of the week so again you get monday and then like the smaller version all the way through saturday to sunday and you also get just some extra little kind of brushed brush marks as well um so again i'll be using these in my bullet journal to um make up for the fact that my handwriting is not the best and then also use them to uh practice my brush lettering so i picked those up as well and then lastly from um hanging some magpie i told you it was a small order is this this is the washi tape from the carpe diem oh uh, 
what range is this? I think it's from the blush range. I think this is from no, I think this is from the Bliss range, and it's basically just a really nice kind of watercolory butterfly effect, and it has some really gorgeous butterflies on. So I picked that up. Now we're going to move over to Hobbycraft. So I popped in Hobbycraft yesterday. If you don't know, here in the UK they've moved World Book Day. It was supposed to be last week, but a lot of the schools were closed. So a lot of the schools have rearranged them to this week. Uh, for my children, World Book Day is tomorrow. But yesterday I went in Hobbycraft to try and get a few bits to make some uh, costumes for them. And whilst I was there, I picked up a little thing for myself. And that's these. These are the gold... Taclon brushes as you can see I've already stolen one out and was using it I did pop it back in because they're all in here um, These are the hobbycraft paint brushes you get a range of brushes you get thicker ones and then ones more for water colouring I needed some more brushes. I literally have like these little ones from the pound shop and this very ruined one um so i needed some new brushes and i need wanted ones that i could do like really big painting with like just brush across some paint and then some more kind of watercolor style ones as well so i picked those up these were about four pounds so for 10 brushes whilst you're still learning how to paint and stuff i thought was a good good uh bargain so i picked those up and then, because I went in Hobbycraft and showed my mum a lot of wool, my mum's into knitting and stuff, she popped in there today and then picked this up for me. It is a Posca paint pen and it is in the gold. I think it has a name. Metallic gold, I believe. This is 0.7 nib, so it's an extra fine one, but I did want a gold pen so that I could do some extra little marks and, and stuff um, on my scrapbook in. So I picked one of those up. Next, I have a shop called Paper Artsy. So this is one of the new shops that I tried out. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. The package came during the snow, um, which was one thing that I was quite happy about. So before I get into what I bought, it came with some really cool kind of postcards. And then it came with a little leaflet about these. These are the fresco chalk acrylics which look very interesting so i might be checking those out on the website also i had this card which i didn't order it is a little stamp and i think you can just make out what it is i, I can't i think that's like a light bulb like an old-fashioned light bulb and then this kind of old kind of badge which again is a complete freebie and it comes with a little card enjoy your free gift from us and then it has this really cool card which has a poppy on and it just says least we forget which is obviously for remembrance day um i'll be using this probably in a card from my mum or something like that so it comes with a free stamp and what i actually ordered were these now i've seen these being used on a few different scrapbook scrapbooky youtubers and i've also seen these used uh in a crafty magazine i bought last week and these are called infusions they are color stains i'll just zoom you in so you can see them a bit better so basically they're little bottles that you can see of powder and basically what you do is you pop some like water down onto some paper and just kind of sprinkle these down or i've seen them people just put these down first like um, tap them onto the paper and then spray some water spray on them um i've slug designs used them in a youtube video on instagram or something that i actually see go up today um but yeah, so I got them in three colours. They come in quite a few different colours. But I got the three colours I always seem to use. So this one is a pink one. And it's called Are You... I don't know what that says. Are You Shoot... I don't know what that says. But it's basically a nice pink colour. This one which is called Royal Blood. And then this one which is called Green Man. I will do some swatches of these. Or start using them in scrapbook layout. So you can see what these look like. But... They are really, really, really cool looking and I can't wait to start trying them out. So I picked those up as well. Next, I have an order from a shop called Wow Embossing Powder. So embossing is something that I've always wanted to try but never really knew where to start. 
so because i was buying these infusions i've seen people emboss like an image onto um a piece of paper or a piece of card or whatever and then emboss it in like a clear embossing powder and then do those infusions over the top and it looks incredible so i wanted to get some clear embossing powder anyway and i thought i'd just pick up a couple of extra colors whilst i was on the site so obviously the first thing is the um the pad it's obviously what you need for embossing so i picked that up there was a load of different versions this one's the clear ultra slow drying i don't know whether that's a bad thing or not but anyone who's an embossing expert you can let me know so i picked that up i then picked up some powders so obviously the first one i popped in my basket was this one this is the clear so this is the clear semi dull regular don't know because i've never tried it before so i picked that one up i then picked this one up which is probably my favorite this one is a premium glitter one and it's called bridal so i thought it'd be really really good for um wedding layouts and stuff it's this really beautiful kind of fine glitter absolutely gorgeous next one is this one and it's called cupid and again it's like a mixture of like a silver and pink glitter and then the last one is this one which is a metallic gold obviously i think it's like the staple of embossing if you've got the gold one so i picked up a gold as well so that's what i got from wow embossing then oh i'm running out of steam then i have a pretty sizable order from colt pens so i'm just gonna grab a piece of scrap paper so you can see what some of the pens look like i did do some uh swatches of them and forgot to bring my the my journal up that I had them in so obviously that's awesome so I picked up quite a few pens for me and a few pens for a friend as well so I'm gonna go through them the first ones I bought were some Tombow brush pens I got another black one because um mine's kind of looking a little bit worse for wear um so I picked up the black this is the N15 I think they've all got different numbers so I picked that one up Next, I've got this kind of purpley one, which is the 665, which is this really gorgeous kind of purple. Sorry if you can hear my children downstairs laughing. And then I got this pale pink one, which is the 703, which is absolutely gorgeous. So they're the three Tombow brush pens I picked up. Next, I picked up these. I tried these when I went to the uh, London forgot the name of it an art a different art shop in london a few weeks ago and i fell in love with these these are the pentel uh pencil sign pens so i got it in pink in purple and in black and they basically are like felt tip pens but they are very very smooth and i thought these would be good for scrapbooking or for like little details um in my bullet journal as well so i picked those up and they don't really bleed through as well which are really good i then picked up one of these this is the paper make flare in medium again this is like a um fine line pen for scrapbooking as well so this is in black so i picked that one up as well I then picked up two of these. I wish I'd picked up some more of these because they are beautiful. These are the Pentel Touch Brush Pens. So they've got a really kind of strange nib on them. And they are basically brush pens. Sorry, I'm just trying to write. They are really small brush pens. So they're not like the Tombow where you kind of have to write quite big. They are so you can brush, uh, do brush lettering in a smaller font. So I absolutely fell in love with these. I'm definitely going to be going on and picking them up into some more colours. So I picked those up. And then the last one is this one. I can't, it's a Feud Biori. It's a really cool metallic brush pen. This is in copper. So it's this beautiful copper colour which is absolutely stunning so that's what i got from colt pens 
Now on to what I got from Paper Maze. So there's a new range out called from Simple Stories and it's called Cro the Crafty Girl range. And I absolutely fell in love. So the first thing, I was going to get this from, what did I put that price on twice? Um, I was going to get this stuff from Haynes for Magpie, but there's a few things that they didn't have and it worked out cheaper for me to just buy it all on Paper Mace and some in some and some in the other. So the first thing is this, these are the chipboard stickers. Oh, they're so gorgeous. You have your little planner and the glue and the sewing machine. You have like paints, these little crafty girls at the bottom which are gorgeous. You have like handmade, so crafty paint little camera make pretty things for some really really gorgeous chipboard so i picked that up next up i picked up the ephemera god they like their prices in there <laughs> i'm not gonna open it up or should i open it up let's open it up i never open these up but whenever i watch these haul videos i'm like open up the ephemera i want to see it all so i'll quickly show you what's in this so these this is obviously the ephemera from the same range if so you've got like a love heart a little pink ring planner you have a um sewing machine one of those i think so it's cross stitching i think that is um some little scissors crafty and happy what's this little paper clip that's gorgeous floral uh, some florals this little pink cushion a little tote bag that says craft this little open pin which is really cool memories camera a little ball of wool that would be good for scrapbooking to think about my mum planning is not a hobby it's a way of life oh my god i need that on a dashboard um let's make art what was that i think that's another floral there you go little glue pots uh diy queen awesome uh make pretty things you have handmade goodness a little pen pot that has a brush and a pencil and a little pair of scissors you have a little um forgotten the name clipboard that was it keep kind of make pretty things a little tag a little tag that's got like a pin in it which is really cool you can make it look like it's been pinned onto a page maker's gonna make oh love that one another floral uh, a little button craft you know, create beauty another button what's that say made with love I've made that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> That'll be good for scrapbooking the uh, costume that I've made for William. Uh, made with love, some washi tape, glue gun. Oh my god, so many glue gun burns from last night's crafting. A little pen, little ring bound planner, another one of those safety pins. Another little tag. Wow, there's so much in here. Make life pretty, handmade, pencil, little thimble. I have too much washi, said no one ever. Oh my god, that's so epic. That's going in a, uh, on a scrapbook page. Little buttons. What's this one say? Happy crafting. So what? <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, some uh, thread, a little pen. Eat, sleep, create, repeat. Love. And then crafting is always a good idea. So there's some really funny bits in there. Absolutely love all of that. So that was the ephemera pack from that range. Have to try and get them back in here now though. So that was the ephemera pack. Then from the same range I have these. Just taking the press off. Bright yellow and sticker um are uh, these are the eight four by six sheets of stickers i love these stickers that the uh, simple stories do they're just so handy so let's have a look at these so the first sheet is this one so you have a lot of the quotes that were in the uh ephemera pack uh crafted every day keeps the crazy away <laughs> Uh, I'm so crafty that I sweat glitter. Oh my god, these. <laughs> I love these so much. Handmade plan, create beauty, just some really gorgeous ones on there. You have this sheet that has all like the paint on and stuff. Made with love, get your craft on, ink, just some beautiful, beautiful ones on there. Then we have some quotes. Create the life that you want. Love is well. <laughs> love is a well-stocked craft room. <laughs> 
I love that. Uh, crafty girl, um, make life pretty, enjoy a paint cut, imagine. Lots and lots of lovely stickers on there. Then there's the squares, so you have uh, Go Pee Crafty, Kill Em With Craftiness, <laughs> love that one. Handmade Goodness, just some really beautiful squares. Next one, I'm on the road to recovery, just kidding, I'm on the road to the craft store. <laughs> Men's the soul, uh, makers gonna make craft. I absolutely love some of the quotes in this range, as part of the reason why I grabbed them. Then we have some more. Oh, my god, I can't really wait to see some of these. I'm, uh, I'm all that in the stack of pattern paper. Ah, <laughs> uh, the one with the most paper wins. Love it. Planning is not a hobby, it's a way of life. I love that. My brain has too many tabs open. I'm in a scrappy mood. I have too much paper, I said no one ever, I love it, it's a well sort of craft. Just some amazing, amazing quotes on there. I'll kind of hold it there so you can kind of read some of the funny ones if you want to pause it. Then some more um, quotes, just obviously more colourful and stuff. Hey, I can make that. <laughs> that was me when I was making the costumes last night. Let's party, crossed out, and then let's craft, that's me, totally absolutely love these and then we have that the, i think it's the last one yeah the last one and you have like the tabs and little circles on and just some really cool decorative ones in there so that is the stickers i'm probably gonna have to try and find this whole range because it's so cool next i have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet we put that in focus so um on here i have a sticker um we have some more of the decorative ones as well. These three little crafty girls crop up again. You have some more quotes at the bottom here and then little tabs and then just some border ones as well. Love these. And it's been a while since I've bought one of these sticker pads, uh, sheets, so I'm loving that. Then I bought some of the papers. So the first one is this one. This one's called Craft, Craft Night. So you have all the the three crafty girls repeating in different colours, which I thought was really cool. These would be good for um, fussy cutting or putting like a strip down one side. And the reverse is just a beautiful floral. I think I'm going to have to pick up another one of those up because I love both sides. Next is this one, and this one's called Handmade. So you have all the different kind of crafty words on there. And then on the reverse you have just the stripes. And then, uh, we're on, and then we're on to a new range. So the next range I want to show you is by Simple Stories and this one's called Bliss. So this is more kind of a muted kind of floral one. This paper I fell in love with and then I see the pack and was like, I want both sides. Because this would be just good to just do a little photo here, a little bit of embellishment, maybe a bit of a journal and you're done. But I really want to fussy cut those flowers. So I'm definitely going to have to get another one of these. This one's called Be The Good. Um, so there's that paper. Uh, and then I think the only other thing from that range I picked up was the ephemera. I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. So this is the ephemera pack from the Bliss Rage. Again, I'll open it up to show you everything that's in it. Um, if you don't want to watch me open all this, I'll put in on the screen when you can skip to. Um, so you have some florals, you have this really cool umbrella. <coughs> you have some letters that spell out happy. With like a, it's like got like a floral background on. You have a little uh, bike, more florals, little wreath, hello, yay, enjoy, what's this one? A little love heart, a little ampersand with some florals on which are beautiful, oh happy day, a little cloud, I'm not in shot. I have um, total bliss which is like a little tab, enjoy the little things, a little brush word, hello. Butterfly, love heart, today, a little kind of a Polaroid photo, a little boot, some tags, oh, more tags down here, today is your day, some more tags, a little bird, more florals, more florals, love hearts, I like that the ephemera piece is nice and small, 
little floor, tiny little bee. <laughs> More florals, another cloud, another floral, happy little moments. Shine your beauty with the world, share your beauty with the world more like. Lovely, I really like this uh, kind of jar with a floral in. More florals and then some tags as well. So that was that ephemera, but that was that. And then finally I have a order from Craft Stash. So I wanted to try out a few bits from the, if I can, yeah from the jelly bean soup range and i really liked these cards and i've got an idea for a card that i wanted to do and it's a shaker card and i needed the stuff to make it so i fell in love with these so these are basically the cards you need for the square opening and then obviously the little squares to make the cards with and then i just picked up this um it's called biodegradable glitter it's by cosmic shimmer it's this really cool kind of green glitter and I then picked up a couple of their stamps. So I picked up this one, obviously, because it's a hot air balloon. Um, anyone who knows me or this channel knows I love them. So I picked up those. I thought these would be really good for embossing as well. And then I picked up this one because I like some of the quotes. And then the little frame as well. So that was everything from this crazy haul video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you've kept on to the end, awesome. Thank you so, so much. So... I can't wait to start playing with all these. Look out for some new scrapbook videos coming up in the next couple of weeks showing how I use all this stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching this video guys and I'll speak to you all in my next one. Bye.